And here comes step three, which is the quinoline rose. All right. Um, for this, we'll be making use of 18 inch of a quinoline. Remember, 18 inch, inch sorry, of a quinoline. And then this one will be folding into two the same way we started with the base. We fold into two. Um, still with my um gum the candle gum yeah i'm using it um there's nothing i can do i have to manage with the hotness yes since i do not have any other option okay so i've done with um one edge i'll be doing the same thing with the other edge now i'm taking out time to do this most of them i've been i would have been doing behind the scene but um taking our time to do this so that we get a better understanding of what we are doing and that's how my classes has been i take out time to do detailed videos for a better understanding so if you don't get it the first time at least you can get it when i do it again and again all right so i have them um, both edges um together so the next thing we are going to do just like the way we did the base we are going to do a running stitch from one edge to the other edge but this time around the running stitch is going to be um smaller it's going to be smaller compared to the way we did the base this one is going to be very smaller 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 bit by bit bit by bit until we get to the end of um the other edge and then when we get to the other edge we start creating um the rose there now this is going to be very technical it's going to be very technical so we have to pay more attention now this is me pulling this and then watch my hands the way i'm pulling um uh, yes i had to set the camera very well so that you get this now see what i'm doing there i'm forming the rows um with the way i'm pulling i'm pulling in i'm creating the rows i'm pulling in i'm creating the rows now um with this you can decide to make your rows more wider than this we have gotten it already and you can decide to make yours wider so you can decide to take um 26 inch you can take 30 inch depending on how you want it to be but this is the format of how to create the screws so if you're taking a bigger measurement it's going to become more wider if you, as you can see this is not wide enough um so you can take more for yourself so i'm going in and out watch what i'm doing there i'm trying to go in and out to make sure um i get a better um one there try to make sure i get it very firm so i'm going in i'm going out and when you are going in and going out be careful to make sure that um the rules does not shift so when you watch me um as i'm going in and out i'm still trying to make sure i use my hand yes to still maintain the rose i'm still using my hand to arrange it to make sure it's in place all right so this is just the perfect way to make um this rose in another class i'm going to be showing you how to make a very wider one with this format too but i'm going to show you how to achieve a very wide one that you can use for a bigger design too but i still here i'm still here trying to um go in go out i'm just trying you know it's quinoline quinoline is net like in nature so if you don't tack properly you get to lose your job at the end of the day so take out time be patient when you're working with quinoline it takes patience to work with quinoline because it can flip up and then you have lost the job all right so this is what i'm still doing i'm still doing it and as i'm doing i'm showing you um, to be able to be sure of what we are doing all right so this is it 
done with our rose making and this, this is what we have been able to achieve all right so please 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 do well try yours this class i want us to be able to practice it and then send it to me the group for correction thank you for being a part bye